the lawn of coaches? Um, well, that's a question for you guys. And the players and the coaches know how great Spo is. And there's this narrative that Spo is not great and um, the narrative that he doesn't get a lot of respect, which he should. He prepares his team every single night. If you just watch the Miami Heat, no matter who's out on the floor, they're going to play heat culture. They're going to play hard. They're going to play together. That's what he's always been about. And um, it's been you guys that have changed the narrative or, or has never given Spo his respect because he had D-Wade or he had myself, he had Bosh. But a lot of coaches have talent. A lot of coaches have had talent over the NBA, over the course of this league. That's not one. Um, you know, and it's, and it's unfortunate that he hasn't gotten his respect. And every time we talk about Spo when I was there and, and talk about how great he prepared us and we all talked about it was great playing for Spo and things of that nature, you guys always say, well, you know, you, got, you have LeBron, you have D-Wade, you have Bosh. Any coach can do it. Not, no. Any coach can do it. If any coach could do it, then there would be a, a, there'd be a lot more champions in this league. There'd be a lot more successful coaches. So, but Spo likes that. That's what that's what that's what fuels Spo is the disrespect that you guys give him, the the the, the basketball world. Um, but I'm not gonna sit up here and uh, act like I don't know what Spo is all about because he's damn good, if not great, probably is great because his pepper his preparation. He prepares like it's his last time ever coaching again every game, and I know that. That's why I feel good. Jeff Zilga. Le LeBron, there is uh, political financial data that is out there that shows that pro sports owners, including NBA owners, donate overwhelmingly to Republican causes. Um, I know they've pledged a lot.